Or how about shrimp paste from tail, lemongrass from talon, bamboo shoots from spine, chilies from fang, and palm sugar from heart. We'll poison them? <laughs> no, we're not going to poison them, and we're not going to fight them. We're going to share a meal with them. <laughs> Wait, what? Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Binging with Babish, where this week we're taking a look at the Kumandra soup from Raya and the Last Dragon. A soup whose fermented shrimp paste, finely julienned lemongrass, bamboo shoots, bird's eye chilies, and palm sugar makes me think that it was inspired by Tom Yong Gung, a hot and spicy Thai soup. The word Gung specifically referring to shrimp. These were not present in the film, so they are totally optional, but we're gonna go ahead and peel and devein about a pound's worth of medium shrimp, reserving the shells and discarding the, uh, poop, because the shells can be a source of a little bit extra shrimpy flavor. Set those shrimp aside and bring the shells on over to about 3 liters of boiling water, where we're going to blanch our shells for about 15 minutes to extract every last drop of shrimpy flavor. Once that's done, go ahead and fish them on out, and truth be told, this might not make a difference at all. We got some really powerful flavors going into this soup, but worst case scenario, you didn't waste your shells. Speaking of which, first up is a handful of dried makrut lime leaves, almost a Southeast Asian equivalent of bay leaves, and five or six dried slices of galangal, a sharper, spicier cousin to ginger. Then we're gonna add two stalks of lemongrass, first cutting off their dried out ends, and using the butt of our knife and any pent up anger, repeatedly smash the stalks, bruising them, which is gonna help get us the maximum flavor bang for our lemongrass buck. Cut into three to four inch lengths, toss those in the hot tub, and let simmer for eight minutes. Then we're optionally adding a handful of separated oyster mushrooms as well as our reserved shrimp. I say optional because again, they're not visible in the movie, but either way, you're gonna end up with a mighty fine soup. Let that simmer for three to five minutes or until the shrimp are cooked through, kill the heat, and then it's time to add all the hot things and the sour things, starting first with the juice of three limes, which as you add them is going to transform your soup into a ghostly, opaque, shrimpy, and sour elixir. Next up, we get to add all the fun stuff. Two tablespoons of fish sauce, one and a half tablespoons of Nam Prik Pao, a Thai chili and tamarind sauce, and then on to the Kumandra stuff. Two teaspoons of palm sugar from Heart that I'm going to give a regular size whisking to to make sure that it's totally dissolved. One and a half tablespoons fermented shrimp paste from Tail. Maybe a quarter cup of finely julienned lemongrass from Talon. Bamboo shoots from Spine, and I know that these aren't cut correctly. His were round, mine are long, but uh, that's all I could find. And chilies from Fang, for which I have about four finely chopped bird's eye chilies. And once again, optional, but Tom Yong Gung is traditionally garnished with a whole bunch of cilantro. One of those times I definitely should have stayed true to the movie, but I didn't want us to end up with an inauthentic soup. Season with a big old pinch of kosher salt if necessary. You might not need it because some of these ingredients are very salty. And then it's time to ladle up and serve. And there you have it, Kumandra soup. Definitely sticking a little bit closer to a Tom Yong Gung recipe than a Kumandra recipe, but this movie had some absolutely beautiful food, clearly inspired by Southeast Asian cuisine, and I didn't want to half-ass it. That being said, how does it taste? Well, it's really, really good. Watch my lips, I'm about to say, it's great. Was that weird to see? It was weird for me to do. It really lives up to its name. It's spicy and sour. I honestly couldn't stop eating it despite the cilantro. Just make sure you don't eat all the leaves and lemongrass sticks sticking out of it. But if you'll excuse me, I've got a sick girlfriend upstairs and I think that this stuff will instantly cure her. Oh. 